That one, and she said that it was for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I have a Don't preview no of Ivan Cornejo and Polo. Oh, yeah. Really? Official. Well, now unmastered audio that they sent to me that I could show on the podcast. Y'all yes. ready? Yes, we're ready. Play the song. Oh, you were with Junior H yesterday, no? They record a yellow room music, so I pulled up, and they were doing the requintos. They said they're bringing back some old songs from, like, the very beginning that I guess they didn't get a lot of attention. They were redoing those. Some songs that never came out they're like re-recording them and some of them are just getting like a second part of songs that already came out oh yeah and then pantera you know shout out shout out to him he was doing the requinto on like most of the songs some of them junior did yeah so pantera was doing the requinto like it was really fast and then after like the engineer left he's like he's like van a tratar de hacer los tutorials pero no van a poder con esto damn yeah. that was hard that was yeah. a hard I did, I did, I did not expect moreno when he i like when moreno jumped in with the ball yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. did, did you no, see i liked it <laughs> i was just exaggerating because they posted it when his finger was like in the here <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of I was the no, I think they go shit. Vete a la verga. <laughs> episode number 39. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Agustababa podcast. Thank you for clicking, viewing, Hi. listening, and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, up? please subscribe to our channel. Before this video starts, we want to give a huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't bought Manscaped, you guys should buy Manscaped. Manscaped. Get your balls ready. you can shave your balls real good. So cool. you can be ready for anything. Use <clears throat> promo code Agusto for 20% off and free shipping. That's Get right. balls clean. They send us a package and it, I, I like it a lot. It's actually, oh, actually waterproof. It's waterproof. I have waterproof. your... Uh, oh, really? Yeah, it's waterproof. Oh, Limpiecito para It has like, a, a flashlight. I, 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 I was going to show you, like, did you shave <laughs> You're it? You're going to show it. No, I was going to ask him, like, do you shave on the toilet or in the shower or... I don't know it was waterproof so You've never it. shaved? Yeah, but I shaved in the shower. You well, shaved in the shower? shower. Damn, this is a, it's waterproof. Yeah, you <laughs> I, this is for the other <laughs> channel. <laughs> this is for the other <laughs> channel. Bro, relax. Okay, don't forget, use code Agusha on manscaped.com, 20% off and free shipping. Your boss will thank you. Mm-hmm. Also, and please don't forget. And your girl will thank you. It'll look like or a, if you have a boyfriend. It'll look like a brain, but... Uh, 2022 uh, nowadays. And don't forget to like this video, too. It'll look like a brain. Helps the algorithm. It'll look comment down, cancel Jason. No, all right, guys. Comment down below your New Year's resolution. Now, and let's oh yeah, away. this is the first one of the. Oh no! Also, buy your <laughs> merch agustompapa.com. We will be choosing a lucky winner very soon to film an episode with us, and possibly meet a famous artist too, like Jenny Six Nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as well. I'm gonna have some new pins coming out to the website pretty soon. Wait, some pins of his face. <laughs> You're not gonna put them on, right? <laughs> So my face on there. Yeah, guys, get some new pins on the website. Keko took out some pins. One of his face, another one of no, no Sabo Sabo Keko. Keko. Mm -hmm. And use code at Ghosto at West Coast Bay Plug. Oh, yeah, I need, website. I need to add the code. Someone texted me that it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> He's my giving bad, you guys, guys an exclusive bad, code. 20% yeah. yeah, yeah, off, babe. 20. 20. <laughs> oh, my God. 20. He's like running his business <laughs> now. I, I know, he's with the Manscaped shit. We'll do 20. We'll do 20. Oh, and he's like, price match Manscaped. Oh, this nigga said 20. He yeah, like <laughs> and free shipping too. <laughs> and free shipping. But yeah, don't forget to buy the pins because Keko bought a crazy amount of them and some of them no were one. Them. So por favor, yeah. please buy some. They're cheap. I don't even buy one. Oh. His shirts didn't sell, but hopefully the pins do. Why yeah, do you want to see like on the lap? <laughs> my shirts didn't sell. Jason lost half of my order, so <laughs> no, I didn't have the hoodies. No, oh, I didn't. Yes. What's the right, topic today? We actually have some good news. We coming. actually have a lot of good news in the regional. Oh, we going to jail? Huh? That's oh, good yeah. news to you? You're such a hater. Dude. Claro que si. Fucking no, I was What's the good news? What's I was, was, was going to talk about that Pedro went live and he was gonna talk, He was talking about that he's going to do a collab. Collab? Collab. With, with, with Ivan. No, he said it possibly. And Danny for sure. And. Wait, isn't he taking out a whole album with Danny? Looks? Yeah. I don't know. But talking about that. That's going to be hard. Polo and Ivan are doing a breakup song. Oh yeah, I that's think actually. This, I, think, I really think this 2022 is gonna be the year of like duetos. I know oh, it yeah. is. It's starting to be more common. Okay, a lot of youngsters too. 2021 yeah. ended really good with Fuerza Regida and Diez Cuatro. That yeah, was hard. That was hard. Yeah, hard. Yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 welcome to the podcast. Watts got his own song. Huh? What? Who? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's what? Walks. Walks. 
Watts is yeah. like electricity shit. Yeah, he, uh, he got his, I heard his song. That's just pretty fire. Wait, who? Walks. The guy that cuts his hair, right? No, no, that's Hideo Kojima. Oh, his filmer. His assistant. Yeah, yeah. he went from filmer to becoming yeah, his bad, assistant. Yeah, the walks. So you guys never know. You guys could be someone's filmer to becoming. If you watch Joe vlogs, you know who walks is. Yeah. But clearly, you don't watch. Sorry, I don't. I watch them. You fucking get... watch like Coco Melon and shit. But he has his own songs. So that's just pretty fun. Yeah. That's the whole dope. album is good. Go I Walks. Like, oh, Diaz like Cuatro it. with Ivan Correo, too. Yeah. I saw they posted mm-hmm. like a little something. I wonder how that's going to sound. I know, because it's like harsh and like trappy and like calm Beautiful and, and calm. <laughs> melodic. Like, how are you going to, you know, mix those two? I, I feel like Ivan's going to start it. Ivan's going to start that <clears> shit. Like, going like. Slow and then. Yeah. Have, and then yeah, like, like it's gonna be like that's and then be like dun, 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 and then that's when like those old m m songs Moreno's gonna come in and, yeah. and destroy that shit yeah I feel like in a I, good way or a bad way no, in a good way like that's just the bass bajoloche and then electric bass and that's just gonna go hard I feel like uh, Ivan's gonna carry the chorus like a, a smooth chorus like it's gonna be like some hard rap from Moreno Dude. and then like a chorus like yeah, so exactly Danny looks all right, I'm gonna just guess. Wait, actually, I'm gonna talk about what else. I'm a. I don't even know how the fuck. Yeah, Danny looks dropping moment. the album. I, <sighs> oh no, yeah. So uh, I'm also gonna be talking about Ovi going to jail, Tony's lawyer's album getting leaked, and then him posting he wants to be independent. Yeah, he wants to be independent. <laughs> respectfully. Respectfully. Because he's you know he's so cool with like Montana records and shit, but he wants to be independent. And then An- Angel Tumbado on Pepe's office talking about something that I feel like happens a lot to young artists. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I saw I it. Haven't so it's it's pretty... Um, it came out... Oh, it's kind of yeah. sad. It's Four days sad. ago, no? Four days ago? Or five? No, it's I been like know. a week. Oh, I was on it. Oh, yeah, a week. I was on it on... On what? On him? Wednesday. You Wednesday. were on him? You were oh, on him? Yeah, no. I was watching him. I try to find an artist name so I went on Pepe's account like on Pepe's office because he recently mm-hmm. had him uh-huh. but I still couldn't find that but I saw Angel's shit and then I was like oh, I'll watch it later and I forgot to watch it dude I, I should fuck with Anton a lot yeah he sounds really good there, I, you know I, I want to have him on the podcast once we get our new studio and they pay us that has uh, yeah. no no you know what I found out about him is that he records all the instruments Oh yeah, I heard like about he it. Like he does, he does the bajoloche, he does harmonia, he does the requinto. And obviously think, the voice. That's that's hard. And he top said that on the podcast. No, I mean, no, I mean, my bad. On Pepe's. No, um, top tier. Top tier studios. Shout out to Viejo. Um, yeah. he told us that he he does it all. Which oh, is and if GOP is watching this or Toro, just know top tier sent me the song of uh, the Cuatro. <laughs> 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 that's because he posted it, and then I I think I because he said what song do you want me to like uh release or some shit yeah and then I said that the Esquatro one he's like wait till Friday but you know it drops Friday oh yeah I was about to fall for it but yeah. hey Potoro if you are watching this what's up with that soccer match they're actually supposed to come to my birthday remember I actually have the live so y'all better come to Angels huh? oh yeah yours got canceled yeah oh yeah damn but talking about that like it shows I think that like the importance of the artist going you know to like a podcast or you know this in this case was Pepe's office because we didn't know that about him and then now that you guys know him a little more you guys actually like like his music like him as a person so if you're watching this an artist it's a great way for you to connect with your fans in a way that maybe they can't like, over instagram or alive I and just it's, like it's I think, important i think like well adding on to what you said is like you get to know a side of the artist that you know you wouldn't typically get typically get from instagram and shit which is dope Mm -hmm. asking like those tough questions that maybe you just wouldn't say on your own yeah yeah and also like i feel like the point of this podcast i mean we get a lot of artists that um go on pepe's office and then obviously they all they all have similar stories like oh yeah did come much inspired me i've started playing the guitar this blah 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 but like i feel like the point of this podcast is that we always try to get questions that like no one has really asked just uncommon questions. And a lot of people don't like that. They're like, ah, oh, well, how could you ask this question, like, to Legado? But you, we, no we already know who kids. inspired El Legado. We already know what Alex went through. We already know, like, this and that. How so, like, why are we going to ask the same sh- shit again? Yeah, and I feel like that's why, like, a Gusto Papa is oh, really different. Oh, and actually, different. the records told us that. Yeah. Yeah, they were like, oh, yeah. We'll say that, it. <laughs> you yeah. You no, yeah, they asked, like, said different an questions. You said an example? Yeah. Or oh, that we asked questions that like no one really asks oh okay and i feel like artists said like stand mas como like they let themselves not go but like they're more like released because like it's somewhere 
someone with their age group yeah oh like to fuck around with those and shit yeah because yeah. like how pepe said before like oh i'm older like they think it has to be my voice cracked <laughs> <laughs> they uh Thank. like they have to be more professional and all that shit I'm right here like yeah mother. yeah because like, yeah, like how you said like the age difference sometimes you don't know but they're very young so like le dicen hasta de usted or yeah like, dicen, like that type of confianza i guess to ask like different questions yeah and, and i don't know if you obviously you guys when they come the artists come we try to like talk to them and at least for like a bit 20 minutes so we could kind of get comfortable and then like when we get on the podcast like there's less tension i guess yeah and Nicole garcia told us it's cool that that was cool about us yeah so we came we started talking and then he they said they go to other places and they just like start filming and act like best it. friends and shit yeah in those words yeah, and I was like, bro, that's exposing crazy. everyone, <laughs> <laughs> the whole industry. That but I feel like that's what's dope about us. Like, where we make them feel comfortable. Like they don't feel pressure. Like if they don't want to answer the question, then that's fine. They don't answer. Yeah, it. respectfully, you know. Yeah, like we're Augusto. Like, yeah, I think it's in our name, motherfuckers. Like, we're yeah, here, you're and then Augusto. It's for the vibes yeah. too, you know. Even Bo Bundy, he said, like, dude, like, the vibes here is good. Like, you just, it's free-flowing, you know? It was his best uh, interview, too. His best like, interview. with Polo, we fucking, we were with him for five hours. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah we were just talking. Oh, we only <laughs> shot for 30 minutes. Or no, an, an hour. hour and 30 minutes. But still, like, five hours out of his day, we are just talking, like, like normal people. And, like, nah, aquí me siento normal con ustedes. Like, yeah. it don't feel like an interview. It feels like a fucking little conversation we have yeah Cause i think to them sometimes they get nervous too <clears throat> huh? nervous. yeah and you know what I, another thing that i noticed too like aside from like the artists that we have now that from our fan base i realize that they want to become like the big artists and be on the podcast i don't know if you guys have like read comments like that oh like sometimes like like oh be on it? like oh when i'm up there like i'm, I'm gonna i want to be on augusto like i've seen comments like that and it kind of oh, yeah. like it blows me away you know that people really like look up to us in that type of way it's pretty motivating it's a little scary huh because then we have a lot to live up to yeah like there's kind of like a little bit of responsibility in a sense you know you can't you know just keep the consistency yeah. i'm trying to find why Ovi went to jail i don't know if you guys knew but oh. Ovi went to jail yeah he well, had a <clears throat> firearm no? well my mom's actually like follows him on instagram and stuff and she watched the uh, well she she follows the thing on I forgot what it's called. The Pepe's Wife show. Oh, this one Cheeseman not like? Oh, yeah, that one. And she said that it was for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, so some sort of... I mean, I don't know what, like, is a deadly weapon. Like, right if it's just a gun. This is a deadly weapon right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it says... Look, I'll read it to you guys. Charge assault aggravated with a deadly weapon. Bond, $5,000. Another one. Uh, the, another charge, concealed weapon, and no, well, they didn't have a permit, so you know the carrying it, a thousand dollar bond, and charge satisfied, bond submitted. So he went, and then he right away uh, posted bail. So yeah. in Miami, no? Yeah. Damn. I think Obi. today he was in uh, Gordo y la Flaca, no? Yeah, he was there today. Con el Damn. Baby I recognized alien. a little. Damn, come to our Gordo y la Flaca. I know. Aquí, <laughs> gordo y la flaca. Well, we have it twice. Who? <laughs> <laughs> we got Doble, a, those gordos. Those we got a, a quadruple burgers no, and like two straws. I, I think having Novio here tell us having no. him like well, like, <laughs> I heard Novio. Having Ovi here and getting to like ask him some questions would be really interesting because he he's in a totally yeah like he, he's really genre. talkative. Yeah, he is. He has yeah. a lot of energy. Yeah, so I think he would tell us a lot of interesting stuff. You know what I think is about dope about uh, Ovi? How he started off with, with the regional and then now he's going to the reggaeton stuff. Oh, I he think it's, with the corridos, no? With the yeah. Like a path that I don't think we'd, we've seen before, huh? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Like from Cuba doing Cuba. corridos tumbados with Nata and then now he's doing like, I guess what he's meant to be doing, right? And I, I like guess. his music. His last song and he was like, oh, I'm el único cubano con avión privado. I need to, I need to, update more on his music yeah the last song i heard was claro que si <laughs> that's Wait. a song that's a song yeah claro que si like he came out with the afro guy yeah, yeah. oh yeah yeah oh that one okay that, yeah, that's yeah. the last one dan you'll be here fucking looking at me like if i said something no i i knew i didn't look at you crazy oh my god this that time me, i think the last one i heard was like corridos tumberos no the one he does with eladio carrion 
I like those. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was the last song I heard. Oh, you were with Junior H yesterday, no? Mm, yeah. How was uh, it? Right, uh, my right, uh, right away with the big smile. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How was it or what? It was cool. Cause I went to I went to LA to do my taxes, but then it didn't work out. Like the guy the guy said he had like a family emergency. So he had to leave. So he's like, Oh, I'll come back tomorrow. So then it was really close to where they they record a yellow room music. So I pulled up and they were doing the requintos. Mm-hmm. And for was, what was the name of the album? The En Mi Vida No Un Cigarro. Mi Vida No Un Cigarro, Parte 2. So, parte 2 I mean, or volume, uh, volume 2? Same shit, no? I wouldn't know. Oh, volume 2. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know if like, what didn't say like, oh, don't say anything or nothing like that, but they said they're bringing back some old songs from like the very beginning that I guess didn't get a lot of attention. They were redoing those. So I guess like remastering or whatever. Um, some songs that never came out, they're like re-recording them. And some of them are just getting like a second part of songs that already came out. Damn. Oh, yeah. They're doing that. And it's supposed to be 20 songs. Oh, shit. And How many? 20. 20. In one oh, album? Shit. Yeah. I asked them like, oh, are you guys going to do like two albums or like 10 songs? Sort of like the last time. And they said, no, it's going to be one album. And oh, yeah. And then Pantera, you know, shout out, shout out to him. He was doing the requinto on like most of the songs. Some of them Junior did. And oh, really? I didn't know that. That's dope. Yeah, he he recorded. I mean, I'm not I'm not too good with that stuff, but yeah. So Pantera was doing the requinto, and I don't know. I never seen anyone. Well, it sounds like El Nitro when he was doing the one song that got him famous. Like it was really fast. And then after, like the engineer left, and he's like, he's like, van a tratar de hacer los tutorials, pero no van a poder con esto. Damn, yo lo saco. And that's in my yeah. And then I thought of Jason. No, but it was like I think I have the video. I'll try to pull it up in a little bit but i mean he was going like <laughs> so like we're expecting <laughs> some hard shit right go again yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> can i get a demonstration again <laughs> but with the open open, <laughs> open mouth no yeah he, it was it was crazy i mean and as a fan i think it's a really cool experience that i got to go see how they're making the album did you like he drink or anything all, with them he has seen all three in less than two months what do you mean you saw ovi nata and junior oh yeah yeah, yeah well my last my last Two videos with Ovi and then the last one was Nata. Oh, remember Nata accidentally called us out? Because he deleted it right after. Oh, I don't know. I didn't see. Is that, he, I didn't see it on the down. story. So. Is that a theory or did he actually call us out? To me, it's a theory. Nah, I'm, what other podcast is talking about Nata? Well, uh, there are screenshots out there, but... I'll tell you why, but... um. Damn, one album, 20 songs. That's like an hour and what? Yeah, 10 minutes? Depends. I don't know. All the songs I heard were really good. Like, not to be like... Sucking dick or nothing, you know, but <laughs> like sucking hard. Yeah. Not to be gobble gobble three thousand. No, no. I mean, I'm a huge fan. You know, he's like, I mean, one of my favorite artists. That like the music yeah, I listen I to, and I don't know. It's a crazy experience. It's a crazy, Hell, yeah. crazy experience. So we're expecting some really hard fashion. Mm-hmm. But they also had like some like text your ex sort of songs too. Nah, I, this <laughs> motherfucker is sensitive as fuck. So I like, cried in the studio. Yeah, like, like, sad. Like, like, I, don't, I don't think that's going to be like that hard. Like it was probably like tragos amargo and this was like, I'm going to touch my ex. That sounds <laughs> hard. No, but I don't know if you could also say this, but um, remember how you told us about the, the suit shit? You oh, can't yeah. say I'll, I'll cut it out, but I mean, we wouldn't know though. <laughs> it comes out if they get mad or not. No, but they were talking about that for the you could text them. <laughs> Their show on Fer- February. 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 Okay. Okay. English is my theater. second language. We might be there. Yeah, on the 12th, that they're going to start wearing uh, some sort of like matching outfits. Uh, like Power Rangers. <laughs> maybe like, maybe like, like, like street style, but like. Still matching? But still matching, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like how they, some groups like wear like suits and stuff, but I don't, I think it's going to be something like that. Not really. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so maybe we'll see something like Junior H bringing back the suit, <laughs> the matching suits. Hey, they should yeah. have dancers. We're well, not bringing them the back because that Marca my pen shit, so do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring back dancers. Like, uh, back back no, dancers. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. That's what all the, all the big ass artists do. Like, yeah. like fucking like Shak- Martin? Shakira, like Shakira. Bad Bunny and, um, Oh. Jay Cortez, like they all have. Yeah, dancers. but they, their music is like. I know, I know, music. I know. What are they gonna be like? <laughs> Perico, fucking oh, Perico. No. I don't know. Dame tu madre. They'll be like, like blunt, full fucking <laughs> flying in a cloud. We might Very go to that show. Yeah. Hopefully. 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 Yeah. Or it's, another show. I think that's what's cool. Like every I song's like a whole different vibe, you know, that you can like connect with. But damn, February 12th, counting down the days. 
A ver qué pasa. A ver qué pasa. And you know more? how you said that it's going to be 20... So. It's not going to be two separate albums. You know how Tony Loyo said he was going to take out two albums like Junior Age in December? He never yeah. did. But he dropped one and it got leaked. Oh. Like Off a the week juice before, got leaked. no? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not that leaked. So um, all, all this is alleged. Angel leaked it. <laughs> all this is alleged. I do not know anything. <laughs> so don't believe me on anything. But also thank you to uh, uh, Steve, Pantera, everyone that invited me. Thanks. And hopefully I didn't leak anything that wasn't supposed to. <laughs> oh, you can hit them up, but we could just send that little piece. Yeah. Just like, oh, we said this. We'll test our luck. And okay. then, um... <laughs> oh, yeah, you about Tony Loya? Oh, yeah. His yeah, what's going album on got leaked. That? I don't know how it happened, but, like, I understand sometimes it gets leaked, like, a day or two before because people do shit on their computer where they could, like, change the day or whatever. Yeah, change the time zone. To, like, but this was a whole week. Mm. Damn, those It was an inside job then. A fan texted me, but I I don't know if I believe it or not. But he said that Manzana, well, he assumed he was drunk or something. And then he put a poll and then he put a link, but that link was to the album, so some people had access to it. Also, someone got it right there. Yeah, YouTube on the quicks. I think so. What I, it, I don't know if that's true. It's allegedly. Yeah. What would it? What would it? What if it was like a closed link? You know I'm how probably unlisted. Unlisted, yeah. And then people but you started. Can still and, see they just, they and then, and then that yeah. fan said that Tony Loya uh, put, "Oh, if you have the album, please don't leak it." But obviously, it's still not leaked. So Damn. did um. So do you guys wait? Think didn't Polo's album get leaked too? A day or two, oh, but they were they were trying to take it down. They were getting taken down like quick, but oh, it did yeah. get. Yeah. The uh, Sebas, the Requintero was saying that too. What? That if you have the music, like don't. Well, it's don't leak it's it. kind of fucked. So up. it probably is true that he accidentally. I think maybe because yeah. I saw him post about it. It's it's kind of fucked up because like artists actually put fucking time and effort yeah. and shit. Just like it does affect for a too. surprise like to their fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're out there getting the work league. Like what the f- like that's kind of fucked up. But at the same time, like it fucks up their shit. Like and their honest- views goes down. Like they actually probably don't fuck. don't the they hype probably, the they, hype take yeah they don't work this. and all that shit so. But then, that is like, I mean, I heard from other musicians that like being in the studio, it's like super, super tedious and super like. Bitch, hard. we were in the studio, <laughs> huh? We were in the studio. Remember, like one song, like the whole day. Oh, I know, but like you know how there's other uh other producers that like again, okay. again, again. Well, I heard that again. that surprised me. Again. I heard that about again. how many times like they redo it, like. I don't know how they put it all the little clips together and make it sound so smooth. I've actually heard that a lot about Yellow Room Music. I think Yellow Room Music is like one of the like best. The best. I love how they make their sound. Yeah, I mean, I forgot his name, but Edgar. Edgar. Shout out to him. I feel like he really <clears throat> does know like what he's what he's doing. And I oh, and I was telling him about like Augusto, and I was like, it'd be like he'd have some good stories to tell. Yeah. So if you're watching this, if you yeah, if you're watching come this, on to the podcast. I'm the guy that was there like two days ago. Hell yeah. I he's in a group too, no? Vos is del Rancho or something? Yeah, he's in a group. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a musician. They have a record label too, no? Yellow yeah, yeah music, Yellow yeah. Room. Music. Yeah, but they were like, you know, he was doing like 10 notes in like two seconds. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, pero con más, uh, con más confianza or let's do it again. Or you're just a little bit ahead or just slow it down a little bit. Fuck, Jason will be in there for weeks. So, <laughs> so that's, that's a <laughs> lot of big, like skill bit. to be able to say, oh, like you're just slightly off. And then just by like that input, like the artist being able to like do it over tone and over. it down or faster because your fingers mi, get mi, like mi respeto, honestly your fingers get tired like the blood starts cir- stop circulating there ah, just kidding but it does get tiring yeah next time you for sure gotta <coughs> gotta go so you can see because i feel like i didn't understand anything that was going on damn you you know i would want to see that there's a lot of people dropping albums fucking who damn so then <laughs> that was allegedly the <laughs> I feel like he just wanted to say that because he didn't know what to say. <laughs> Who's who? dropping that? Was a, a lot of people. Who? Hey, Tony Loya. Danny Lux is dropping one this month. Fuerza yeah, Regida yeah. just dropped Ivan's one. doing a disc too. A disc? A disc? An album. Who's he dissing? A oh, disc. Oh, oh okay. okay. I heard this. Yeah, I heard too, yeah. this. Oh, oh my, my bad, bad, my bad. bad. His ex girl was. Imagine Ivan right. in a disc, bro. I couldn't imagine that. I still can't imagine. Me reportaste mi Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. No sabo que go buy his merch. All right, so going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buy my merch, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, please buy his merch and his pins. They're not up. Hopefully, by the time you guys are watching this, it's up on the site. 
tomorrow. Seven. And if you guys are watching this, I want to buy them. Text him to post them, please. Oh, and then also, you know how like his album got leaked, and then that fan told me what happened that like his manager accidentally. Oh yeah, yeah, posted yeah. That's it. that's what I was wanted to get to. Yeah, so allegedly. Tony, yeah, then Tony Loya posted. Still getting money, but I'd give all this shit up just to be independent again. Just speaking my mind. So I reading, like reading that and then I did not know what you said. Time. I didn't know about what you said right now. So do you think that he made that post because he was mad or upset yeah. that I you mean, know. I don't know if it was like maybe you know, the, the Mansana team some sort of messed up and released his album. That's that was him like being frustrated at it. I think so. I, I don't know. It's true, but if you guys know, comment down below. Because like, it is hard to work. I, I feel like every time something <clears throat> happens with Tony Loya, he always like, oh, I want to go independent. And then like a week later, he's like, oh, I love my record label. Uh, actually, yeah. I, like, I it has happened maybe. with like DMG. Like, comment down. Like oh. he was representing them. And then he fucking, he got mad with them, with Brian or something happened. And he started giving away his like DMG merch. And then like a week later, he like, like oh DMG all the way and this and that. So I feel like not to not to fucking talk shit or anything, but no, I feel you're talking like some mad shit. Every time, like, <laughs> no, you're no, the boy, like you're the homie, like, confidence. We even party last time. Um, but oh damn, like, that, you're talking shit. That is like my son. That we party last time, but I'm a charger. <laughs> um, but nah, like I feel like every time he gets mad, he just comes with like oh I want to be independent. So it's like, does he really want to be independent, or does he just say that just so like? Uh, Manasa and shit like just to threaten them like, maybe we'll yeah. nah, I, I think he's still cool with like Mansana. he's still reposing and stuff. I think he was just upset I mean I'd be upset if you yeah. spend so much time in the studio and then you just like get that, to leave yep. but talking about Brian DMG good thing you mentioned that someone asked Brian DMG time do you think Tony will come back to DMG and he just put the eyes but then Tony I don't think so I don't but, think so we'll talk, we'll talk well, about Tony Loya and DMG <laughs> no, my, my. I, where do we leave off so Brian Dean G posted that you guys think oh yeah oh so I don't think he's gonna come back to DMG but that reminded me of I mean I don't know anything I mean I was all dumb I feel like back then but I was watching one of his lives and when I guess he, I didn't know that he was trying to leave DMG and on his live he was saying like oh I'm only gonna like rap about Christian music and oh, yeah. I'm leaving like all this stuff behind I was like so confused like we actually talked it about it. It was weird. Yeah, we did. He said time that ago. he thought he thinks he thinks that Tony Loya said that because he they wouldn't let him out. So he said that. So the yeah, that makes let him out. Yeah. Did you actually? Um, but I was just like, I'm like what? What's going on? I mean, thinking about it, let's just say Tony Loya does go independent. Who has? Who's independent and has done it successfully? Uh, Esteban Gabriel. All right, that's one. Wait, what do you mean successfully? Yeah, like, oh, like, like brings us to another good topic. Uh, su- what's success for an, an independent, independent artist? Because uh, you know Russ, the rapper. That that's what I was thinking too. Like, I think I he feel became like, synonymous with. Yeah, like with he's no, he's known for like being that independent artist in the rap game, to you know have like a really really solid fan base and like still do it, you know, still live. Yeah, he. I mean, I'm not a fan of his music, but I'm a fan, I guess, of. Of like that, how he talks about being independent. I yeah. saw him on, it must have been like a podcast or an interview, and he was talking about how a label is just like a loan with really bad, like terms. Yeah, he's like if you're really like if you feel like you need to have a million dollars to be able to take off, like just go to your bank better. Talking about uh, rapping and being independent. Did you hear a Tony Lawyer rap song? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about it? I have it. I'll play it. Not right now. Damn, sounds like it'd be turned for like a 2019 house party. Hey, this is what we're talking party. about. This is what we're talking about. <laughs> hey, <Dad. laughs> Remember uh, when he came on? <laughs> uh, oh, dude. So like... <laughs> he almost got me knocked out. <laughs> so like one time, um, Tony Loya is like someone who recorded a rap song for him, according mm-hmm. to Kegel. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was Sang. so awkward, Kegel preview bro. for the... Like just to watch it. Uh-huh. But like it was super low key. Like Tony Lawyer did not know that this person sent it to Gecko. Uh-huh. Yeah. So like Tony Lawyer, no one knew that there was a rap song of Tony Lawyer, and he showed it to me because he had the DMs, and I thought it was out. So when Tony Lawyer was here, I was like, "Oh yeah, about that rap song? Are you thinking of taking rap seriously?" And he was like, 
And he was like, what he like wait, what the fuck? <laughs> and he looked at me, he was like, yeah. Yeah, uh, he said it to I'm me. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no. I'm like, no, no. no. <laughs> but I had, I like, Tony, I was sitting there and Tony Lloyd was sitting here. So we were like this. And he like, he looked at me and I was like, I turned right away. I'm like, Diego, no, dog. <laughs> Dude, that was, that, that was So funny. what did you say right after that? How did you get out nah, of that? Nah, we just, I don't he know. He was confused. I think he was just yeah, confused. Yeah. So like, oh, like, never mind. We trying to play it off, but I don't but know. I, I kind of like this one better than the other one. I think there was another one where it was more faster and I think it sounded better. That's what I said. Wait, um, oh, my bad. <laughs> you know how you were talking about like rap music? Yeah. So, well, I mean, this is just a theory of mine. Danny looks posted la última canción del álbum Ni se la van a esperar. Oh, I, saw I thought about like, what could it be? I think. I think. All right, go. I, I, have to, I don't know why, dude, but I feel like I'm like 100% sure like this is going to happen. And I don't know. I, I, don't know. I know what's going to happen. I think he's going to take something out like with like beats or like with the rapper or some shit he's what gonna, makes you think that he's gonna take out someone that does like alternative music alternative like electronic music but EDM? like with guitars no I think it's gonna be in English yeah what? because I saw you kinda like click on who yeah I clicked on it and <laughs> I, was, too, I did all that research and then Danny Lux took it down after yeah like, I saw the guy he was making music with yeah it's like alternative but like but he was with, also rapping too yeah it was like it's like pop rap with alternative music so like some like kind of like like Bad bunny type like, of vibes yeah i guess yeah but no no yeah but something like that with like beats you know bad bunny yeah. like, like uh, such a unique style so el diablo from bad bunny and nah, not like no that. not like like that. i feel like nothing to do with like Mello. like serreño. Like, 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 serreño. Like, 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 love. Yeah. like love yeah nothing to do with the serreño but more like the yeah. style guitar i'd love to have him on here and uh, ask him who inspired him to start Danny making Lutz? music we'll ask him february uh 12 12 now you guys know when the i want dude i'm trying to get that warehouse already dude i'm just trying to get my money already you know we're trying get to get my money up not my funny up <laughs> 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 damn i thought i was the only one that fucking was acting like an fbi agent no no i i, I you know i'll do my research too yeah me too <laughs> you didn't bring it to the podcast we said jason what do you have nothing He's gatekeeping all this content <clears throat> it's because I have I um I'm, I'm, I'm teaming up with this other podcast and they might need the info. Yeah, the one that's coming out next week. Huh? Uh, para no dar a, para no estar a gustar. Wa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, nah. um, isn't Danny Lux also taking a whole album with Pedro? Uh, supposedly, I don't, I didn't know it was gonna be a whole podcast. <laughs> I mean, a whole a whole album. I thought it was just going to be one song. No, nah, they said it plenty of times. My bad. Then. Even when we went over to Pedro's house, he even said like, oh yeah, we're working on a whole album. He said that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, think that, I, I don't remember I heard saying that. that. Really? <gasps> yeah, they said they it, it was... That, that party was me, fun. <laughs> me, you, him, Aaron, Danny, the other Aaron, and Pedro. This dumbass I was... I don't know what the fuck he Where was were you? No, he wanna go take a piss at that time. I think so. They were trying to make it seem like he was with some girl or hey, some no, shit. No, we were taking a piss. You were taking a piss. You don't know what I was doing. He was probably with the fucking sheeps in the front. Fucking sheeps. <laughs> the horses. Hey, the party was fun. Mm -hmm. So whole album. Damn, it's a lot crazy. of good music then coming I up. I probably took my ex if I listened to that. Yeah, nah, I think that one's gonna be... I think up. I'm gonna clip that up and send it to her. <laughs> No, what were you gonna say? I no, that, what he <laughs> what he said not for me. Ah, what he said nah, not nah. for me. You know what he said? What he like? Yeah, I'm gonna clip up those songs and send it to. No, cause he's cause nah, 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 nah. You got what I said, play right? Back, clip up play this it back. Play it and back. Send it to her. I wasn't paying attention. What happened? No, play because Angel was like, oh, I'm probably gonna text my ex, and then, and then I was Jason, like. Nah, I was like, Jason, oh, nah, uh, Jason, relax. Nah, You're gonna text your ex? <laughs> no, Jason was like, yeah, I'm gonna clip up those songs and send it to my ex. No, are you? Yes. No, oh my god, you guys are making it seem no, like what that. Do what do you think? Hey, let me speak. Let me speak. Why fucking do you think he hasn't got a girl because he's still Whoa. upset. Whoa. What? Wait. You miss your ex? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a Fuck you, get out of the video. No, no, no. It's been a year and a half. Oh, no. Bro, I still got this shit. Turn the power, you fat ass. Yeah, you fat ass. Let's just go on though. The TV. Yeah, the. Wait, can you hear us? Camera is still recording. We should have recorded this. Angel's over here. Gecko's really humongous ass. Try to jump, and then he disconnected the whole power. 
This fire hazard of a human <laughs> fell down <laughs> into okay, the power outlet and gonna, disconnected gonna, everything. Kiko's trying to make it seem like something that's not, right? But I'm going to explain myself. So, so, no. this, oh, so, oh, then, so oh, you feel the need to, you feel the need uh, to explain wait, yourself? Wait, 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 uh, because he's fucking heartbroken. <laughs> I'm not heartbroken. He can't get over someone that's been gone for a year. Just because you go with a different girl every week doesn't mean... I don't. You can't say that. You can't say that because you want me to I could say that without lying. You want me... You want me to say your shit then? Oh, dude, 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 I can't even explain. And if you want, no if he wants to explain false, himself, he has to do it on the other one. Yeah, do it on the second channel. As of right now, headliner <laughs> falls. All right. Oh, wait. I actually have a surprise for you guys. Um, I have a Don't preview of again. Ivan Cornejo and Polo. Oh, really? Uh, official. Well, now unmastered audio that they sent to me that I could show on the podcast. Damn. Well, I don't have the so, cable. Oh. Then yeah. It's they, there. Well, he gets this figured out. You guys. Oh yeah. It might work. And oh, yeah, worldwide. Yeah. Nationwide exclusive of the song. <laughs> what do you do just for watching the Gusto <laughs> Papa podcast? Why do you think this is not that? No, I have it on my left. You have yeah, like you a point zero one percent of like the top listeners. You were trying to connect this. No, I disconnected that idiot. No, then how come? How come you set the cable down? To not use that. <laughs> You're done. Let me play <laughs> the song. <laughs> I'm not, not, really I'm not yeah. playing the song. But you guys are getting no, this no, exclusive for being. No, I'm not playing the song. Jesse Mrs. is like, I'm not playing the song. Play it. I hey. demand you. I demand you Blink, to play it. Take her back. Hey, <laughs> you want a side piece? Hey, hey, but, available. But I, I hadn't told you, but I appreciate the that you bleeped out on the last. Oh, that's someone. Podcast. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, um, that no, Jason goes stop. to the same gym as her. Relax. I'm not fucking talking shit. No, about I was just saying I appreciate <laughs> that you did it pretty good. <laughs> and you got. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she watches this. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Nah, just kidding. Uh, you couldn't forget to bleep this one out. Yeah, you I, didn't I put effort in these podcasts. He don't, he no, don't. I do. I do. He you don't. better pray. He don't. No, 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 no. He I got don't, it. Angel. If I was you, I would edit that, fool. Nah, I got you, Angel. Because he's not gonna, bro. You <laughs> Angel, know how, you, you know how selfish this bitch is. He'll rather nah, fucking. Hell no. nah. He'll throw you under the bus, Dude, dog. I, I literally pay attention to all of them. No, but more people watch this one than the one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Song. That's like, nah. If you really want to know what he said, go watch the other one. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> it's bleeped out, so watch this one. <laughs> Damn, Angel, I can't believe that happened to you. I know. No, do stop. That. This is supposed to be about music. Not about, that was music. Not like, about my personal <laughs> life. <laughs> stop. Just kidding. All right, no more bullying, Angel. Every time you bully Angel, it's five dollars. Stop! Stop! It hurts my feelings. No, go, take it on the second channel. It hurts my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop! Tickle, play the song. Stepping on my song. skirt. I right, play the song. No, I'm not gonna play no more. Nationwide exclusive. <laughs> I listened to it yesterday. <laughs> Just play it. How do no, I have it? All right, one to ten. One to ten. How hard is it? A ten. Like honestly, honestly. All right. And don't a be nine. by eight. A, a nine, but uh, eight. Uh, because honestly. I did not like the sound of the bajo All right, babe. Wait, what? Nah, relax. Wait, didn't it? Why are you right, wait, you're wait. Gonna let me I thought you were going to read it fast. Bitch, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> you guys share. Oh, I've got to say congrats to uh, Tony Loya being number 10 on the charts. <laughs> Damn, I'm talking we about chart. Okay, I don't want to take away from the spotlight, right? Number 10 is good. But who hit number one global? Forza Regida. Wait, I thought we talked about Oh, yeah, Forza Regida. <laughs> number one global, not just United States. Global motherfuckers. Who hit Keiko's ass? Angel. Hey, uh, my mic's still off. No, we left it off on purpose. Twist it, twist it. Pop <laughs> it. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Angel and Keiko share hoes. They hit up Jason the same can't girls. get over his ex. <laughs> Go! Any Both. other awards? Both of these fat asses can't lose weight. That's true. Well, actually, you That's were true. at least working out, but you Kiko can't start. <laughs> actually, can't. I started. What the fuck? How? I'm doing limpieza. I'm drinking yeah. baking soda and un limon. Go to the fucking gym. That's how you lose weight. No. No, I, I guess. He's going to get that, stuff with limon and baking soda. Hey, well, we don't need any newbies at the gym. Well, We're Jason goes packed. to the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no. What are you saying? We, need no. we don't need any new people at the gym. I know. Yo. As full as it is. 
Fool, you go to take pictures on the turf and say you're working out. That's what I'm saying. You pictures. probably throw water on your hair and say you're sweating. No, that day I was. All right, the... we need to get back to the topic. Oh, yeah, the this is like a you need to get over your ex, dude. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, but anyway, don't forget to. Hey, the, the man has an opinion. That's false. <laughs> No, that's a sensitive topic, honestly. Oh, Tony Lee was also play trying to get the damn song. I'm gonna play the song. <laughs> Why? Because you guys don't deserve. <laughs> they don't. Damn, deserve guys, to you see, you, no, you guys it? don't. You said it's a well, nine. Check he said my it's Instagram. Why not a ten? Y'all heard him. All right, I'm gonna play it. Y'all annoying. It. But let me also say, Tony Lee is also trying to get in contact with Nathan and Kano to hop oh, on yeah. the song because Nathan did post that he wants to work with other artists that are work with Jason Nunez. Actually, thought um Tony Loya and. Polo, we're gonna. Uh, Y'all post. ready? Yes, we're ready. Play the song. There, I won, dude. That's it. Yeah. No, yeah. Man. yeah. yeah. You got that off a story. <laughs> I, I got off a story. Bro, I guess I acting like. <laughs> like Ivan Cornejo, like, like recorded it and no, sent I it to him. They, they, yeah, they I have recorded preview. I have his number. I'm gonna hit him up. Like, so nah, I'm gonna hit him on so, Hey, give him a cookie. Guess his, uh, oh, number. damn. You have someone important's number here? Bitch, who's to him? No, no, no. You see? You see? You can't get over X and you know his number too. Here are two cookies. All right, there is a preview. Let's hear it. They should go to a yellow room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Not, not, not to be disrespe- disrespectful, right? But I, you know what I just remembered? Tony Loy has the worst look. Why? His account gets deleted three times. He had like 250 cases. They deleted uh, his EP. They deleted his EP. I wounded. Remember when he, yeah. when he was pissed? Really? The engineer deleted his EP. Oh, that day, fuck, that day we were like, oh shit. Yeah, he was kind of mad. He was mad because he left his Louis Vuitton bag. He at lost Denny's. it. At De- uh, he said he thought he lost it at Denny's, but he left it uh, uh, wounded. at Wounded. Damn, they're about to RKO that waitress, remember? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was crazy. And then what else happened to him? Oh, we're talking about. Uh, you said Tony Loya has I, the worst <laughs> luck. <laughs> no, that's been enough for Tony Loya. Ah. Well, Angel had too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> now, so what do you guys think about the song? <laughs> now you guys that little, little preview. Bit. Ah, well, that's um, that's whose uh, song do you think it, it is? It's Polo song. Is it the one he played at? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it is. With the oh, play that one. Yeah. They actually lost. have the whole song. <laughs> at what? At the place where we were at, where we saw Polo. The underground. The underground. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you guys go. Nah, Did Polo write that for his ex? Yeah. No, actually. <clears throat> no, nah, I think yeah. That song He did It's a heartbreak song Yeah Yeah but he He was still with his girl right? No he wasn't at that He time. wasn't When we, we saw him He wasn't already Really? Yeah Wait Yeah but you guys When we went to go eat That's like, wait, the song She's he single? Sold? It's on no. the QB he, Let me get ground. on it Video. He uh, <laughs> <he's> single? <laughs> he showed us that song He showed us that song When we had dinner with that fool yeah, he was single. That was literally yeah. really a couple he, days after the underground shit. Dinner. It was no, it was not a couple days after the underground. It shit. was fuck no. Yeah, it was huh, what? bro? This guy saying that they had dinner with Polo was a couple days after the QB shit. It was. It was not. It was. You didn't go to the QB shit. That's why you don't know when it was. We had dinner. We went to go uh, kick it with Polo at the at the like. Oh, when you filmed your song. Oh, when you ate like yeah. forty eight like huh. wings on stepasas. It was not funny. <laughs> it was wrong. Like, no, you, you actually did. Shut the fuck wings. up. A shit little wings. You ate a fucking king size. Uh, <laughs> no, I got fuck. it because we were going to share, but, but you I only didn't. Like you ate it all. You it, ate it all. Honestly, looked too unhealthy. You this is second channel yourself. shit. Right. You're supposed to be on topic with music. That shit. Talking about <laughs> eating chili <laughs> chicken. Well, well then don't come at me for that eating shit. Bullshit. <laughs> and then Jason talked about it. I apologize. You ate all the wings. <laughs> no, but really, <laughs> I seriously think that that's, this is the that's year. How, that's how Jason talks when Brian puts his finger. Stop up playing footsie. I really think this is a year where there's gonna be a lot of do- do- what. And just like stop playing footsie. <laughs> you fucking fag. We ain't playing footsies though. <laughs> Why did he say that? He fucking hit the pole and he's saying it's my leg. We don't even have a pole in here. A pole, the fucking butter. Oh, the leg of the table. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who else would it be good? It's going to elevate the genre. Mm-hmm. Wait, Christian er, and er, Ovi never took that song out, huh? Christian, nah. just see Christian Odal. <laughs> Bruh. Like, dude. dude it, okay, look, look. I know, all the no, time. I, I, no, know, no. I know that you're going to say, it's the same um, bro, thing. Um, bro. But it's not. It's not Christian like if you Odal. Say, cr- if you say Christian and Ovi, people are not going to know it's Christian Odal. Like, if I say, if his name's Pedro, I can't just be like, Ped. <laughs> that, that's like, no one. That's like. That's like, no? Yeah. That's, like, that's what no. you do. Like, oh, his name's Alberto. Umberto. Or Beto. Hey, Beto. Like, I know it's the same, but, like, I, his parents don't even call him that. You never know. Okay. And you... And that conversation. Hey, you, yeah. you know what, what collab was good? Um, J.O.P. and... Lenin? No. Moreno? Moreno, yeah. Well, that was hard. That yeah, was a yeah, hard I did, I did not expect Moreno, when he, I like when Moreno jumped in with the ball. Yeah. They, <laughs> did you no, see? I liked it. <laughs> like, I was just exaggerating because they posted it when his finger was like in the here. <laughs> <laughs> they do it because obviously they can't hear themselves, right? Um, did it you could, see the... The cover that they did? Fool, <laughs> <laughs> not that funny. Relax. <laughs> Wait, the what? You're the my cover that they Who? Uh, the the co- co- oh, yeah. That, that was, was hard. hard as fuck. It was a commando. At, uh, no. Hey, I'll find it. Commando. Yo, like, but that shit. With a like, tololoche? Tolo yeah. yeah. Wait, who, yeah. And who, who and who? Just DS4. They took out a cover of... Oh, it wasn't even that song. Uh, how the fuck you spell it? Commando del Diablo? I don't know. What are you trying to spell? DS4? Oh, just put the S. <laughs> Yeah, but the four? Well, let me help you out. I spelled it wrong. Anything <laughs> that you see him post, like, I proofread. <laughs> oh, yeah, we all used to proofread. Good question. Yeah. 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 Oh. We tried to put bus wow. and you put, like, something put else. Oh, give me that keyboard. Oh, and you said you, you wanted to take a picture, and I forgot to take it. Yeah, no, it's already cool. Dude, that was hard. I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Fuck, I feel like we got way too comfortable with the bus. Oh, right here. <laughs> Oh, that was like. He has a unique voice, no cap. You know what? I think it's one of those voices whether you really Commando like it Diablo, yeah. or you don't like it at all. You know, people yeah. were saying that um, it sounds better than the original song. I don't know, but. You know, no, I was just saying. He has a unique voice. Is that. Is it. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel know, like right it? now. If you want to be a singer, you could do it. Because no one in the regional is actually singing, if that Why haven't sense. you done it? <laughs> <clears throat> Relax, fool. What do you mean no one's really getting singing? A cook. You guys are a good question. Like, they're either rapping, like in Spanish. Uh-huh. Or yelling. Or <laughs> you yelling. You don't have to have a, a voice. amazing vocal? You don't have to have amazing vocals to, like, make it. And, like, or just do music in general. Like. Or fake it till you make it. You can't yeah, because I think right now TikTok just kind of like changed the game, huh? If one of your video hits and you have, you know, after like it goes a little viral and like mo- you got more eyes looking at you, if your other videos are good, you got a good chance. He's All right, guys, a little break right here, but we are going to give a huge birthday, birthday shout, shout out, out to Life with Money. Thank you for always coming to you on our videos. Thank you for always watching thank our you for videos. Support. Thank we you for appreciate it and does not go unnoticed. And thank you to El Compa Humberto. Also, birthday shout out to Preso. Com- Alberto Compreso. Thank you <laughs> for the name, stupid. Alberto Caro Preso. Alberto Caro Preso. Oh, from, Caro Preso. Thank you for reaching from out. Auto Entertainment. Big happy birthday, compa. Thank you for watching us. Nico. Y aquí estamos. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Las mañanitas. Las mañanitas. Las mañanitas. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alberto Moni. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Alright, back. <laughs> oh yeah, so I was saying like, let's just say you don't you you sing good with auto tune and reverb, like you could still take all those elements and put that in a live show, just like how Travis Scott does it. Like, have you seen when they turn off his auto tune? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. That's just so funny. <laughs> Have you heard of Lil Tecca ran- Ransom yeah. without the autotune? Yeah, it sounds horrible. Yeah. Wait, so but how does a, someone in the regional do that? What do you mean? How, how? Yeah. I don't know. You just can. I'm just saying like you can. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Wait, do you use that in your songs? Mm, I mean, just a little bit of reverb. But when they master and shit, they, they it's do, not crazy. It's not a crazy amount, like of like, like you can still distinguish my voice, like on a live Wings. performance, distinguish, and like a live performance and in a studio song. Damn, as a musician and how everything's changing for 2022, are you excited? What what can we expect from you? More podcast episodes. <laughs> <laughs> They're trolling no. on me because, like, I have no, a, no, no, but for real, for real. Because I have, I have music. No, and it just has. We made a little f- fun of you right now because you <sighs> dropped one song. Yeah, one well, year. you said you're gonna drop one in January, huh? You know what's funny? <clears throat> that another channel dropped more music of Jason than Jason dropped himself. Of me? <laughs> you know what? Too wait, what? Gecko dropped that ass more than Jason dropped the music. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they're trying You're to dropping a song in January, right? That's your new one song a month. Yeah, one right. song a month. And what? What if? What if like it doesn't happen? January it will happen. happen. No, no, it's no. But one song a month. Guys. But you already let me down a few times, so I just want. He said he was gonna drop it on his birthday. Didn't happen. No. Then he said Christmas. Right now, didn't right happen. now, I have all the right elements. Just kidding. Wait, had get, it. Get the had. Like what? What happens? Wait, I don't want to make this about me. Like you can ask me on another podcast. All right, sounds good. <laughs> um, oh, go to, I am gonna drop music though. What's your topic? I forgot. You didn't have a topic, huh? No, no, yeah, I did. That's like he tried to put me on the spot. He's like, "What is it? I was no, like, what I think is that like, I want to run out of time. What I think about like the regional right now is that it's gonna go far beyond the guitars. Because that's how it started, huh? Yeah, like it's gonna go to electric guitars and then like. It's already going to electric guitar. Yeah, Junior H did the one song. I forgot what it's called, no, but the one they did like in the music video in the desert. Uh, the intro. Oh, yeah, that one. We have a question. When you were in the studio with Junior H, did you see one electric guitar? Oh. Mm-mm. I wanted to see if they had an accordion because I saw some other stories. I think he bought one. one. But he bought an accordion. I, I, I didn't see it. I didn't, I didn't ask, but I didn't see it. But yeah, right. well, yeah, my topic was that... The, well, what I, I told you guys earlier that I thought that like traditional musica, like regional mexicana, was sort of like the gateway for the new generation to like yeah, adopt hooked. adopt this music like sooner, and now we're all listening to it like right now, and not just when we're like older and like they're gonna say oh like parents' music, it's like the younger generation's music as well. Oh, like soon the Cuatro will be parents' music. Is that what you're trying to say? Oh no no I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, what kind of it is because we like, like it now my, and then when we grow up like back yeah, in my yeah, yeah. day dad what kind of shit is that where he put his finger and it came out <laughs> yeah something like that no a lot of artists do that I was just exaggerating because he always does that it's because no, they don't I'm have the ears that I feel like this generation of like the younger kids and like the older parents they're both listening to Mexican music at the same time I feel like maybe a little before like kids were listening to like rap and English music not traditional Mexican and I feel like um you know, Ariel Camacho and how he influenced. Everybody got on it, like, sooner. What do you think? <laughs> Not <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I get what you're trying to say. Like, like there's going to be a new fundamental, basically, of, like, people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no. No, 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 I was. Like, he's saying, like, Ariel Camacho was, like... Open the doors for... Like, open... Things. Yeah, and then, obviously, like... Like, sooner. <clears throat> huh? Like sooner where the he got like the kids into it mm-hmm. yeah 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 but yeah that's the topic <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> Damn, yeah. Bug. It was more about i've been trying about to worry about the buzzing noise but like i was like maybe i don't hear it oh well, it's probably just my headphones then I'm i don't hear it either you hear cheap ass beats that break no yeah i don't hear it tax deduction <laughs> No, yeah, but that's my topic. Yeah, <laughs> you get no. <laughs> give Angel more. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh. no, I'm gonna elaborate. Like this, um, there's gonna be like way more, way more younger artists than any than any time. Like six years. Okay. Shit? Yeah, dude. Like dead ass, dead ass. Like I have a question. Yeah, y- go for it. You may a- you may ask. I have a theory. Yeah, you have ten seconds. I have my own theory. Right here, Keiko's theory. <laughs> um. Yeah. So now, do you guys think that? The regional will overcome him. No, no, no. Rep- <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, Why? Right, I'm okay. gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, a lot of artists are becoming um, for for background. Part of the regional. This question that he's asking because on another podcast he said that two other podcasts. Yeah, regional yeah. mexicano was gonna overcome. And when with the artist? What, what did you say? Hip hop, rap. rap, English. Yeah, he rap. said that it was gonna overcome it because it's growing faster. 
people I, I think I, I think it is I give it two years if more artists are doing more collabs together <laughs> like Gary Vee or some shit <laughs> predicting and shit <laughs> NFTs and shit <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> no I just I just feel like it's just gonna open up more for the for the Latino cause like reggaeton that shit's up there bro that shit's up there yeah, I don't think it's... That's some other level shit. Yeah, that's like some other when level. Those like, don't know, when the reggaetoneros stay on the charts, they stay on the charts for months. Yeah, Bad Bunny's... Like, let's see like a year or something. Like, like, let's see how long of, so when the regional stays on the charts. Like, for Sarajita, they're, they're number one global, right? Let's see how long it... Uh, they might not be the number one anymore. Oh, uh, well, that's what I'm saying, yeah, too. Like, I mean, it's still cool that they're number one, but... Yeah, I like, think it's growing. The younger generation got on Mexican music sooner. Mm-hmm. And since... They're not like super like, oh, it has to be like three guitars and it has to sound like this and it has to say these type of words. Yeah, they're gonna, gonna experiment more. And I think we're gonna see like the sounds grow and just be different. And I'm excited for that. Team. Yeah, someone, some guy named um I follow him. His name is R. Like he put he put drums in the in his track with guitars and a bass. And it actually sounded pretty good People have and different. That, though. Yeah? Yeah. But, I mean, that's just one of the guys that stood up for me. T- really talented. Shout out. Yeah, I'm excited to see. Damn, why are you on your phone? <coughs> I was going to look on some cheese, man, but I couldn't find it. What? <laughs> I couldn't find it. No. Oh. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully we get, like, we start getting, like, regional artists doing commercials you know <laughs> they're gonna say coke i don't know why <laughs> coke. is that what's on your mind yeah like imagine like <laughs> ivan cornejo doing like a fucking coke like, like later a, commercial or some shit like yeah a commercial for like like for a pepsi commercial corona or some shit just because bad bunny did one huh yeah damn uh do you think like the like let's just say the managers <laughs> of these artists don't even try like doing something like that or they're just something just, that gator let's just say gator for example is not interested in like, i have a theory as well i feel I have like a Kekos theory i feel like brands don't really like it's because work with mexican we're still not, underground not mexican but like the regional because they say like a lot of bad words and like sort of rappers right and like how you guys how you guys say it they go for more of the English because they're worldwide and mm-hmm. and a stronger topic like than Hispanic. Like people are gonna see them. Like, a, what about if like a Hispanic guy does a commercial for Gatorade? The English people are gonna be like, "Oh, who's that?" But if they see an English person, then they're gonna be like, "Oh, this is like he's a singer. He's a good representative yeah. for the." Doesn't so need an introduction. They're gonna hit. They're gonna hit someone who people have more uh, acknowledge of yeah oh, than someone nice vocabulary word right and to elaborate on that i think too that not just the names and the space have to grow but like the whole industry like their managers the their representatives like no fi- i feel that sometimes they're not focused on oh can we get them like on a commercial that like no one's expecting so i feel that sometimes they're just more about like oh let's try to sell these tickets and that's as far as it goes yeah Cause dude, like it's not as, it's not as evolved. I thought Trujillo was actually on a Ford commercial. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I have no idea. Actually, posted it too because the manager is like more ahead of his time. Hell yeah, best manager in town, huh? <laughs> wink, you know who you wink, are. Wink, wink, <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah, but yeah, I feel like that's next. Like, who would you want to see on a commercial? Ukraine, mm-hmm. Yan, that's mm-hmm. what. Huh? Yeah. On uh, the commercial. Imagine seeing Ivan like Amir Khalifa, Trojan. She's already no pay this nada. I like they already did one duet, why not do another one, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't ask Ivan if si sabia quién era. Hmm. Dude, obviously. I probably walked around with the boner all day. <laughs> <laughs> or blue bones. Oh. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> then we're not gonna get any commercials because she's out here talking about boners. When she when she's like, Ivan, Ivan, he's like, wow. <laughs> fucking Hidey shit. that shit no te paso. that's you <laughs> <laughs> who else oh I guess cause it, I mean it's limitless like, like there's a lot of shit who's the, right, who's the next lot of shit. who's the who's the next big thing like who's the one to take it to the next level who do you guys think like who's upcoming or who's or that's big but like is ready to take it to the next level like Jason Nata Nata still you think still Nata 
natakang why your life isn't good enough or what what <laughs> no <I> just you <laughs> don't understand what do you mean by that no, no, I don't I don't it. no no come on I, i'm trying to back you up here my boy it's, it's, it was part of the post he did but took down oh yeah yeah, yeah oh yeah, yeah, not yeah. that calls us out yeah I'm you already said that but, but i'm gonna say i'm gonna say why like how do you feel about him you the, like his number one like your fan most, he's like, a fan throw, he's most, a like, fan girl throw not like fan in this whole entire world how yeah. do you feel about your favorite artist <laughs> knowing who you are it's like bad bunny knowing who jason is how do you feel about that damn i don't know i was happy oh. but then you're like damn but sad but hey, then you, Well, Gio sent it to me. He said it was up for like five minutes. And then he said, oh, instead of doing a podcast, blah, blah, blah. Because that day, Nata had posted. He was like in a room and there was a TV and there was people watching a TV. And they're watching his own music video. So I guess it got on the recommended. He watched our shit. He saw him kissing the mannequin. He doesn't know English, obviously. He probably thought we were making fun of him. No, he does. Nata knows English? Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, he does. Hey, he's not like the the grandma from uh, SpongeBob. Chocolates. <laughs> Wait, really? Stupid yeah. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. No, no, he does. Does. I, I don't. He watch understands SpongeBob. it, but I don't think he like. Well, he met good. him, bitch. Like he been with him. I I don't think he's fluent like enough yeah. to understand all of it. Maybe like Polo, where they just understand a bit, like what's going on. Like, if you yeah, sometimes I feel like they're gonna say like, "Oh, what you the one talking shit." That's crazy. So, me off like he knows who we are. So he was like, "Oh, um, <laughs> instead of doing a podcast oh, my about name. my life, the one about your life, well, your life's no Valenverga or some shit." And I was like, "Damn, damn." But I guess like you're like, saw. damn. You're like, "Damn, you're right." <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, "Check out my second channel." Shit. <laughs> now, nah, but he took it down. I think because like he kept watching it, and then whoever was there was like, "No, they're not talking shit." Mm. He probably just saw the intro. Theoretically, because yeah, the shit. intro came out. The with intro that was yeah. Theoretically, they, I feel like you're probably like hella laughing. Like I said, it was only five minutes. Yeah, that that's the intro. Yeah, and he probably saw the fucking Christmas shit and was like, "Oh, these fuckers are." Like I don't think the Christmas shit was. Up. He's like, "Okay, cause yeah. okay, it's okay." It was in December. Nah, it was. Well, I mean, it wasn't up. Yet. That, it's still probably gonna be on this episode too. Yeah, cause someone keeps putting Navy in the way in January. Hey, we're still trying to sell your shirt. I know. <laughs> but that's like that's what I thought. Well, if you wouldn't have half, I mean, wouldn't have lost half of my inventory then. Wait, the ones that are in stock haven't Jeez. even sold yet. I, they have. <laughs> that's that's they still, have. No, still, still. They they have. Have. There's oh, no answer to this question. Merch, that that had to go go for it. That's, that's for his fucked. question. That's actually stuff the still in stock. Lost. <laughs> we actually have. <laughs> so fucked. He said he haven't sold the white shirt. I, white okay, shirt, but I sold my black shirts. The ones I have, the ones that didn't get lost. They're not lost. Que se extraviaron. Oh, we're, we're missing hoodies too. So. Yeah. They have legs and fucking walk to Jason's closet. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You, guys are, you guys are getting the... We're the, trying to get a sponsor by. We have to stick to the topic of music. We can't talk about our own problems. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's like a channel shit. Guys, if you guys looking for an accordion player, hit up Angel. He's starting to play. He plays accordion on the phone. I play I, the accordion on the phone. And the bass. Hey, are you going to learn the tecla or what? Comment if you're the end of the video club. Teclado? Shout out to you. Oh, shit. Hold on, I got you, got you. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen with that. What Jimmy that? and Legado in court. Damn. I wonder if they're going to have like an op open court case. Like, where we <laughs> can go and You swear like, they're going to go to the fucking Supreme Court and shit? <laughs> Wait, they did that with the OJ Simpson one, no? The Supreme Court? Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't keep up with yeah, OJ Simpson. I keep up with the <laughs> Simpsons, not the OJ Simpson. I keep up with OJ Orange Shoes. But not with the shit. And just join Relax, you like, oh, yeah, yeah, the if, J if he's good enough, I'll let him join my band. Angel, if I buy you an accordion, would you use it? Of course, I'm gonna. Well, I'm, I'm already looking into <laughs> getting one. Really? You don't want a bass? You should have bought his. No, yeah, I want to get it. Should I sell it to me for you? I have it in the accordion. No, you don't. You, st you sold, yeah, it. No, I sold it. Oh, you fucking slut. No. I'm to tell you shit. Why? Hey, no, you trying to learn? No, I asked him to let me borrow it last time. He's like, no. No, you did. You picked it up and you didn't use it. You didn't I did. No, you I didn't. did use it. But you didn't learn. Damn. So you had it for a little while and you didn't learn anything. I had it for a week. He I didn't learn three didn't songs. I did. I learned According that. According to shit. really hard. I feel I like I could get it down now, but I learned that, that last shit. time. I learned it. No, it is hard. Give me, give me your phone. I'll play a song right now. No, no, no. He only knows right. Beethoven. <laughs> the fuck up. I still <laughs> something. But guys, I think that's this was a good episode. Wrap it up yep. for this week. Wrap your willy. We actually wrap have. Wrap it for you. Tap it actually. Comment down below you if you guys like this careful. episode. Comment down below your favorite part. Comment down below if you want to buy a merch because you could meet Danny Lux. Yeah. You could meet us. Ah. 
And yep. us. We'll take we it in the warehouse if we get paid because he owes money. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and magushwapa.com. Thank you for watching another podcast. If you watch 